Good morning, everyone. I'm Loreen from the Natrona County Library, and today I'm going to be reading for you, No Lie, I Acted Like a Beast, The Story of Beauty and the Beast, as told by The Beast, by Nancy Lowen. Roar! Arg! Grrr! Yep, I've still got it. I might not look like a beast anymore, but I can still act the part. Notice that I use the word act. Acting changed my life. It got me into trouble. It got me out of trouble. It even got me the girl of my dreams. My name is Prince Elmer. If you believe the lies, I was once a spoiled brat who refused to help a poor old woman. Here's the real story. As a young prince, I was shy. So shy that I wouldn't even answer the phone. And if a pretty girl came around, forget it. One day, I read a notice in the newspaper. Theater auditions for the three Billy Goats Gruff. I decided then and there that I was done being shy. I was going to find my voice as an actor. Of course, I wanted the best part in the play, the evil troll who lives under the bridge. So I practiced and practiced. I barked and hissed. I growled as I brushed my teeth. I slashed at the air with my fork. On audition night, my head was so full of troll thoughts that at first I didn't notice the tug on my sleeve. It was a poor old woman asking for food. No, I roared, I won't help you, go away. Then I remembered that I wasn't actually a troll. Oh, I'm so sorry, I was just, but it was too late. Before my eyes, the old woman became an evil fairy. Fool, she cried, you act like a beast, you shall be a beast. But you don't understand. There is only one way to break this spell, the evil fairy said. A woman must fall in love with you in spite of your looks, she snickered, like that's going to happen. I must have fainted because the next thing I knew, I was in a strange castle, in the woods, alone. That was the worst time of my life. I was hideous. Oh, sure, I had all sorts of fine things, but I had no one to talk to. To pass the time, I kept up my acting studies. In the garden, I put on one-man shows for the birds and the butterflies. Then came the stormy night that changed everything. A lost traveler took shelter in my castle. I remained hidden, but I made sure he had everything he needed. It felt awfully nice to have company. The next morning as he was leaving, he took a rose from the garden. That gave me an idea. Maybe I could trick him into coming back. I'm not proud of what I did next, but it worked. Is that how you reward my kindness? I roared. You will pay with your life. The man begged to say goodbye to his family. He promised to return, and he did, with his daughter named Beauty. Beauty had vowed to take her father's place. She felt responsible because she was the one who'd asked for a rose. For me, it was love at first sight. For her, not so much. Who could blame her? I had fur growing out of my nostrils, and I smelled like a barn. I went back to my shy ways, hiding behind drapes and ducking into closets. After a few days passed, Beauty figured out that I was more of a teddy bear than a beast. Imagine my delight when she started talking to me. We had a lot in common, including a love of good theater. I didn't have to do one-man shows anymore. I had a co-star. The more Beauty and I acted together, the more she got to know the real me. One day, Beauty asked to leave the castle. She wanted to visit her family. Okay, but you'd better come back. I'll die without you, I joked, and then my voice became serious. Really, if you leave me, I'll die. Yes, it was a bit over the top. What can I say? I'm an actor. And with that, she left. When Beauty returned, she found me lying on the ground next to the rose bush. I tried not to breathe. Beast! Beauty cried out. Oh, no! Her tears poured onto my fur, but I didn't move. Oh, Beast, you're the ugliest creature I've ever seen. But... I can't help it. I love you. I do. And just like that, the spell was broken. I got my happily ever after. I was a prince again. I married Beauty. And together we've opened the Prince Elmer School of Beastly Good Acting. You should take a class. It might change your life. The end. Thank you so much for joining me for this story. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.